is going on everybody it's me truck driver Sean I am here today to you know drink green tea because I got COVID fuck COVID but green tea is hitting the spot all right let's put that over there yes mate we are here today to talk about this. All right, this is the Fuzzim OB. It's uh, the Obtanium, which I guess is like his version of kind of like a mids overdrive. And it's ridiculously powerful. As we're gonna see, I'm gonna use the Republic X amp here behind me um, with the game basically turned off. So yeah, pretty easy stuff right there. You got your your volume, your gain, and your mids. That's it. There's nothing else. You, know, you got your little, little thing to plug in there. Again, I can't stress this enough. I know certain builders do it, some don't. Why they don't, I have no idea. I'm sure there's a kabuki theory involved with all of it, but I love it when you have a pedal, when you can push the button and there's no click. It's on, it's off, it's smooth. To me, it's a sign of quality. For all I know, it's actually shit. But I like it, so fuck it. <laughs> all right, so we're going to plug into the Republic X amp, which is just, one of my favorite amps to use uh, when I'm doing pedals like this because it, it's a simple amp and I put everything in the middle except for the gain I put at 25% and we get to see what this pedal really does. It really lends itself well to it. The using my Arachnid 2x12 on this side over here, mic'd up a DB77 with a Sennheiser E609 going directly into this camera right here, which is a Zoom QN8. Mm -hmm. All right, just give me a second to hook this up and uh, get you that little porn shot everybody likes, right? Go like this with it. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, pretty back in a jiffy. Okay, we are all hooked up. Everything's at noontime. We have the Republic with everything at noontime except for the gain, which is at 25%. So let's uh let's see what we got just with the Republic. <laughs> As you can tell, I took the nuts right out of that amp. The amp actually kicks ass. <laughs> but for what I'm doing here, it actually works out really well, right? All right, so here we go. We're gonna riff out a little bit and then we'll smash that button. Everything's at 50% on the OB. <laughs> Thank you. 
as you can tell, huge difference, right? So we're just gonna tinker around with this a little bit. Uh, we'll just mess with the volume real quick, show you the difference. As you can tell, there's a shit ton, shit ton of volume. Let's mess with the gain. Yeah, that's that's a lot of gain. <laughs> now we'll mess with the mitts.
right, so you can tell those mids just get crazy. So if you're tuned super low, it's actually going to help you out quite a bit. I'm in just, you know, half step down. So I'm just going to flavor this to taste, see what we get. And that's without touching the amp at all. It's using just this pedal.
Yeah. Um, that pedal's stupid. So I'm going to show you where this is, and then I'm going to turn it off just to show you the massive difference it made in that amp. Now, that amp is a ridiculous amp. You've heard it a million times. I literally have it turned down to make it sound like shit. Not that it sounds like shit. It just isn't really powerful. So in my opinion, this pedal right here would also, like if you're the type of person who can't really afford a tube amp and something that can like really push and get a unique flavor and you really, really hate your solid state, this pedal right here will add life and character to a solid state because it's doing it with an amp that's turned way down. And trust me, this amp doesn't need any help. And this pedal by itself is just transforming the flat nuts barely any distortion i have on this thing to what you're hearing all right so uh no denying that there's no cover-up there's no weird shit going on it literally it is what it is so I'm gonna give you a little bit of room audio just for context so if you don't like room audio uh, go take a shit like a real quick one and then come back all right here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
Fuzz Imp. Right now, Fuzz Imp is three for three for a brand that has something I hate in the name. I hate Fuzz. My name is Truck Driver Sean, and I hate fucking Fuzz. But I love Fuzz Imp. And it's run by a really cool ass dude. And he's killing it. This is the third pedal in a row. Don't worry, Park. This one we are going to send to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Park. He loses all of his pedals that come to me first. By the way, if anybody doesn't believe that Park from PC Pedals it is like a legit motherfucker, he buys pedals from other companies and they stop by my house on the way so I can review them. That's pretty cool. He's helping support other com companies and he has his own. How awesome is that? Gotta support people like that. So with that said, this again is the Fuzz Imp. OB, um, I love this pedal. I'm just gonna put that out there. And this is only supposed to be like a touch of what the creature is able to do, so I'm really excited to try the creature. But this right here, this pedal is dope as shit. Love it, love it. Just saying, that pedal is awesome. So go check out Fuzz Him. If you don't like Fuzz, um, Try his stuff, man, because, like, the Shroot kicked ass. The OB kicks ass. The Adventure, um, it was a, oh, for the love of God, Octave Fuzz. There we go. It was awesome. It really was smart, forward thinking. It was a great pedal, and I had a ton of fun with it. You just, his pedals are awesome. So forget the word fuzz is in the name, but remember it says how you're going to find him. <laughs> All right. So yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. Well, not a lot of stuff, but he covers a lot of ground. So um, go check that dude out. Seriously, go check him out. It's worth your time. Not only that, he's, he runs and operates and everything. So you end up talking to one of the coolest guys on the planet. He's such a nice guy, and uh, I'm very fortunate. I've been very lucky. I've met a lot of really cool fucking people, and he fits right in that pocket so well. And I'm proud to be able to take the time with his stuff, and eventually my money will find its way into his pocket, and I'll own some of his stuff because I, I don't own anything. I'm borrowing Park stuff. But his stuff is good, and I need to have it in my collection. Because it's worth it's worth the financial uh, burden to have an awesome toy. You know what I'm saying? Just is. Sorry. It's good stuff. I love it when I can get something that I don't think I'm going to like and I absolutely love it. And I would have never tried this guy's stuff because the name is Fuzz Imp. And I fucking hate Fuzz. So, me being a fan of this guy and his work is... Again, directly a result of Park over at PCP Pedals because he told me I needed to try it. And he was right. I did need to try it. Very good stuff. All right. Keep music evil. You know what I'm saying? Bring metal to the children. Hey, don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. And I'll catch you in the next video. Later, man.